She was a cheerleader and he was a computer whiz. The Aztec community is hurting tonight as they remember two teens killed for no reason. Here's News 13's Marissa Lucero with more on how people are honoring their lives. Marissa? Dean, students are still in shock and trying to process everything that happened, all of them still comforting one another. Like any other Thursday morning. I went to school and I, I sat down. Students at Aztec High School shuffled through the halls to get to class. Right as the bell rang and we did the pledge. And just minutes into his teacher's instructions, Hunter Medina says everything changed. We heard pop, pop. It's a sound he can't shake. Shots rang out in the distance. We thought it was somebody banging on the lockers. There, was, there wasn't anybody shooting up Aztec High School, you know, not, not our small little town. Later, Medina learned his friend Paco Fernandez was the shooter's first victim. He went to the bathroom and he never came back. Fernandez encountered the shooter in the bathroom, sparking the first gunshots that put the school on lockdown before the killer could get into a classroom full of students like he'd planned. That in itself... That kid's a hero. A hero who excelled in computers. Yes. How fast you can type on that computer, and he was beating every kid in his computer class, as well as his teacher. The second victim, Casey, an Aztec cheerleader who was getting ready for a trip. Grandmother was buying clothes for her to travel to Florida because she was going to be performing as one of the national cheerleaders in the Orange Bowl. And even as the rising sun marks the start of a new day, those who lived through it are still trying to find their way out of the dark. People were hysterical. Like, it was frightening, like, staring death in the eye, you know what I mean? Like, nobody wants to go through that. High schoolers shouldn't have to go through that. And we also heard from Casey's high school cheer coach tonight. She says she's grateful for all the outpouring of support from community members and even cheer teams across the country. Back to you, Jess. All right, thank you, Marissa. Investigators say they still have to clear the crime scene and make repairs before the high school can reopen. For the latest updates, keep it here and online at krqe.com.